Check out my book in the description down below. Today we are on the lookout for what they call the Boston Sphinx. It's a big, big, maybe granite, I want to say statue, in the Mount Auburn Cemetery that's particularly interesting and impressive. Look at this spot. And look at the chapel, the add on there with the, with the glass front, probably a room where they do services. Amazing. I'm wondering if this fountain's running in better weather. We are here at the Mount Auburn Cemetery. I'm being respectful, being quiet here in Cambridge, Mass. It was designed, I didn't do my research. I wanna say someone like Frederick Olmsted, who was in charge of Central Park and a couple other very famous landscape sites and buildings. Uh, it was designed basically to be a cemetery that was also a beautiful, walkable park, a place people wanted to be. And there's so many, it's huge. You can just walk everywhere. There's cool trails, ponds, but uh, some of the graves are very, very unique and ornate. A lot of the people buried here came from extreme wealth in the greater Boston area. Some very historic people. Uh, uh, Isabella Stewart Gardner and, and some. That's one off the top of my head. But behind me, I just want to show you this colossal sphinx-like grave. Whoever had this erected in honor of themselves or family members must have been incredibly wealthy. Place is just beautiful. Nothing's in bloom yet. Oh, I probably can't walk through here. Oh, okay, so it's on a grave. American Union preserve African slavery destroyed by the uprising of the great people by the blood of fallen heroes. Uh, sculptor, 1872, Martin Milmore. It's a tribute, a monument. So here it is from the front side. It is probably 12 feet tall, maybe a little longer than that too. Tough to get a good shot as the sun's directly overhead right now. This thing's been here for quite some time and still holding up pretty well. A testament to the power and longevity of stone. in 1872. Take quite some time to not only carve something like this, but to haul it. And again, to give the man his props. I'm going to have to come back here when I have more time to really explore. And there's guides you can download online. There's books about this place. Some of these graves are just incredible. This one here is 15 feet tall at least. And here, even in the afterlife, people are flaunting their wealth. Look at how gorgeous this little rotunda courtyard area is down here. It's like an old Coliseum Amphitheater. Another thing you'll note is uh, if you're into trees, a lot of them are labeled. This tree here just begging, begging to be climbed. You know, probably over the years it's been here for many. It probably has been climbed. Norway spruce, by the way. I know that because I'm not a tree expert. But like I said, it says so right there. Of course, Got to move my finger the opposite way. This camera's backwards. And they are old growth, beautiful, and in some cases, probably imported trees as well. Uh, very family friendly here. Just the stonework's amazing. Miles and miles of trails and little grass paths and, and the moss trail and, and mossy path, I think it's called in particular. I recommend checking that one out. Sculptures, 
great. It's just amazing here. Uh, it's free, very historic. Do some reading on it, check it out. A fun and free thing to do right here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Impromptu video here. Why the heck not? My family's waiting for me. It's Easter. Happy Easter to all. A belated in this case. Oh, birds. There's a robin right over there and a blue jay. Uh, I saw a bunch of people in here bird watching as well. So this is just a great serene spot. Have a picnic out here maybe. People might frown upon that, but I'm cool with that. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, please subscribe. More DIY stuff coming up and we will see you later.